Bram, thanks so much, Coach. I'm really excited to talk some mm -hmm. football with you today after a W, man. It's finally nice to get you here on a W. That's always super exciting. I really love this play design. This is the mm -hmm. RPO. This is a nice big gain to McKissick here. And I really like the kind of what, what Scott Turner's trying to do here, right? You get four guys over here. Yep. You're matching this screen concept over here. That's always nice when you can be plus one to the screen. You hold another guy here with the read action in the backfield. Love that and allows these guys inside here to be plus in the run game. Now you have those five guys for these five defenders, and you love that, and you love the matchups you get off of that. You do, and it's exactly a very good design by Scotty. Why? Because, again, the emphasis, fake the pass, hold and freeze one side of it, but more importantly, keep the backside in from getting a chance right. to stop this play before it starts. And once JD gets into the line, now he just kind of picks his way, weaves it through, and there's the crease. And you see how explosive he is. Yes. That's something you guys have talked about. You mentioned holding this backside player here, this gentleman right here. Always got to account for that guy mm -hmm. when you're doing this runaway. And it's just this little subtle fake here in the backfield by Carson. This ball fake here hesitates him enough, right? Mm -hmm. And it leads to gives him a step, right? He's able to get in the secondary, which you love. But also, Coach, a guy that you've played with, you've worked with a lot, I, I really love what Ted Larson's doing here. Yes, Tyler does Tyler a really Larson. nice job. Again, he gets out, helps widen the crease, and then works his way up to the next level. What would have been nice, though, was being able to sort it out a little bit sooner. If Sadiq yes. comes off, gets to the linebacker, now Tyler can go to the safety. But, right. but Sadiq spent a little bit of time on that block. Okay, which did allow him to get to the linebacker as quickly as we would have liked him to. But you like the Tyler's cleaning that up, and Absolutely. you love, and you love the, the burst through the hole, right? Yes. There's no time wasted there. Yes. Oh, and this play, Coach, I love this play because it's, it's the game within the game, right? You mm -hmm. guys are running an outside zone or a Wanda away from the tight end. The box are going mm -hmm. this way. Everyone knows you're leaving this backside player unblocked here, and he thinks someone's coming back to block me, and that would be right because the tight end's going to come back, flash block this, the back would just kind of – pick through here and find that soft spot. But you guys are playing chess, not checkers. Mm -hmm. And I really like that because you take his rules, this player's rules right here, and kind of bastardize them a little bit yes. and put them in a weird spot. Well, what happens is, again, anytime you got a guy that's going to think outside of what his what his, his responsibilities are, he's usually going to make the wrong decision. Right. And what he did was he came down and he was getting ready to chase. Yes. Okay. And because he was getting ready to chase, he squeezes too much and we really don't have to put a person on him. He's unblocked guy to the, yes. to the front side of the run, because even though this little tricky backfield action, mm -hmm. watch Gibson here, again, just kind of a little subtle, open the hip up, make him think they're running outside zone away, and then we're coming back the mm -hmm. other way. The other thing I love about this coach is when you get a receiver blocking mm -hmm. a linebacker, that's Roquan Smith there, and yep. he's getting nice and physical. That's a nice sustained block there, yes. and then the speed by Gibson to get in the secondary. And the one thing about Antonio is he's got such deceptive speed. People don't understand that this young man, once he gets out in the field, He's a load. He's about 230 pounds, and when he's going, he really has the ability to pick up some quick yards. Yeah, it is crazy to think of a man of that size running that way. It's, it's fantastic. Okay, this is another fun one. Again, these run concepts are so well designed. Really love it. I love this little change of strength motion here. What I mean by that is usually defenses set the strength to the tight ends who are mm -hmm. moving right now, and they set the strength. They've got the three technique over to the play side or what they think is the strength here, right? And then they say, oh, no, we shift the strength. Let's move these guys around, and then... It's kind of chaos ensues. You get linebackers bumping into each other. You get these guys saying, what are we doing here, right? And, it's, and it lightens their hands enough yes. to make a nice push here. Yes, yeah, so, and again, once you, you know they're light on their hands, you can get that push. And this is a really excellent job by Tyler. Again, getting off on the ball, getting into the one technique, yep. right? And then again, nice job by Andrew. He gets a little bit of a stutter, sets himself to make sure there's nobody trying to squeak through on, you know, on a run through. And then now you get the push. And watch the push by the three offensive linemen on the left side. Yeah. And that's all we need is just enough push to get it into the end zone. And obviously it doesn't hurt having a big back like yes. Brian to kind of finish that off. And again, this is this is sneaky right here by Norwell. And I think it's it's underrated, right? Because he's got really patient feet yep. here. They're trying to get you on a run stunt here into this gap. They're going to bring the linebacker over the top. And Norwell, again, with the patient feet here, says, I don't have a ton of work. This guy's kind of shaded up really tight on Larson here. He's able to help, uh, help Leno out and secure this running lane for a touchdown. Yes, and again, it's one of those things that when you watch the way our guys work at things and understand just how important it is to run the ball. Right. Because again, when you got guys that are run blockers, it helps them eventually with their pass protection. Coach, super excited to talk about this defense today. Obviously, you know, maybe not the cleanest effort, some big plays, things like that, but I thought these guys played with tremendous effort. And this is a play that really kind of exemplifies the game to me. Like, here's Casey Tuhill. Obviously, this is a tough down for you guys. This ends up being a 50-yard run. but 
you know, Casey gets knocked on the ground and you think the play's over for him, right? He, you know, mm -hmm. no one would fault him. He's at the bottom of this pile here, a lot of people yep. on the ground. And, you know, a couple missed tackles here, but he sticks with it, finds a way. And he's the guy that is, I mean, I wish I had a, a mileage tracker, but he's running all the way there from back here to get it on this play and, and save a touchdown potentially. Oh, very much so. Yeah, but, you know, the play started, unfortunately, we had a chance to get a tackle for a loss. Yep. We missed the tackle. And the inertia of missing the tackle is what launches the runner across the field. I mean, the great thing is, as you pointed out, Casey gets up and then he gets right into the middle of the tackle. Again, he's got to chase him about 45 yards. And I'm going to bet somewhere along the line, his speed probably got up to 19, almost 20. <laughs> 20 miles an hour. Seriously. He's a fast man. Yes, he's, he is. He's, he's very a good long strider. Guy. And once he gets his stride going, he can run. And again, all you need is a chance. All you need is a chance. And I, I think that's the great point there, right? It's because that leads to the mm -hmm. fourth and one where Cole yep. makes the play. And who knows what happens if he gets a little bit close to the end zone there, right? Yep. Just giving you a chance. I love that you brought that out. And again, here's another effort play. To me, they're going to run kind of a mesh concept. You yep. guys run mesh all the time. And again, you get crossers, you get people, you get picks. And it's really hard to match this, right? But I look at this and I say, everybody's with somebody, right? Mm -hmm. There's guys all paired up. You know who's got who. Even back here, guys are paired up tight window throws you know we mentioned how fields does not see the field overly well and it leads to a great opportunity for a tremendous pass rush or a guy who's getting hot at the right time montez to get a pressure here absolutely and again that isn't is it you know pass rushing is really about effort right it's, it's either you either win off the snap or you got tremendous effort that right. gives you a chance to make it he wins off the snap yeah. unfortunately he misses the initial sack yeah. but because of his effort because of the effort of his teammates right. He gets back into the play and gets the sack. And I, and I love that, Coach, because, again, you know, Jay, I, you know, James deserves some credit here, too. He's getting chipped mm -hmm. here on the front side, and he's the guy who says, you know, maybe I can get in on this and make a little play here for my guy. And that is great teamwork. That's guys working together. And you mentioned Montez just playing the down throughout, and he ends up getting – he gets rewarded for that effort. But the guys in the back can deserve a ton, a ton of credit, too. Absolutely. And that's, you know, that's team football. That's when – the coverage is married to the rush. Yeah, absolutely. And then, you know, maybe to me, the most exciting play of the game, like listen to Brand Weinstein called this on the radio. I was sweating in my seat. But you get a little return here by Mooney, right, in a one-on-one -on -one situation for the game against a young man in Benjamin St. Juice who's playing good football at the moment. But this is a tough matchup because that's a good receiver. And this is where everybody in the stadium knows the ball's going. You don't know what route's coming. I love how Benjamin is so delivered here. You see his length. You see his foot speed. And I like that he doesn't look for the football here, Coach. Absolutely. At this point, the key, though, is that he fights it to the ground. Right. Okay? Yes. And again, you don't look back when you're in man coverage. You focus in on your man, only your man. And as your guy goes to make a play, you get involved in on the play. And because he hit the guy the way he hit him, the ball ends up on the other side of the cone as opposed into the end zone. I had a coach once tell me, uh, Dan Quinn, who uh, is the coach for defensive, uh, defensive coordinator for the Cowboys, he said, late wins are great wins mm -hmm. because they save things like this, right? You know, with the pass interference stuff, like he could easily say, oh, man, he's, he's got me beat. But playing through the ball, getting the ball loose, and again, it was, I mean, close, coach, it was that close to being mm -hmm. a touchdown. And to see that kind of effort from all those guys, that's got to mean something in this one. It does because, again, you know, the prior week, we, we, we took a tough one on, on, um, you know, on the goal line and didn't get in. Here's an opportunity for us to make up for it. The guys did. They came through. And, again, that's how you win football games, that you, like you said. You play to the end. And is this something you can build on moving oh, forward? Oh, most certainly. It doesn't yeah. matter you know, what the final score is. It doesn't matter what the stats are. What matters is you won and the way you won. You won fighting and playing as a unit. You know, special teams came up big for yes, us. Yes, absolutely. Got a fumble recovery inside the red zone, and we were able to convert it for points. Coach, I'm really excited. I hope this, this leads to way more wins. Always a pleasure talking football with you. All Thanks right. so much. Appreciate it.